Okay. Thank you. Okay. So Israeli authorities have been trying to evict my family for at least 40 years now. They tried to use all different types of policies to push us out of our house. My family has lived in this house in the old city of Jerusalem since 1953. Uh, we rented the house under a tenancy, protected tenancy agreement with the government of Jordan in 1953. And Israel, after uh, the occupation of Jerusalem, tried to, uh, to push my family out with different policies. One of them was uh, banning my family from holding maintenance and restoration work in the house. Uh, another policy was uh, was uh, during the 80s when Israeli settlers blocked the main entrance of our house, thus banning us from physically accessing the house for almost 17 years. So my family uh, between the, the 1970s and until 2000 uh, initiated proceedings against the Israeli government and settlers uh, demanding for us to repair the house and to just reopen an entrance to it. Uh, so we moved back to our house in 2000 and uh, Israeli, uh, the Israeli government in 2010, they gave, uh, they moved the ownership of the property to Israeli settlers in 2010. The Israeli settlers uh, have uh, petitioned Israeli courts asking for our eviction. Uh, they claim that, uh, that we have abandoned our house over 30 years ago. And under that claim, the Israeli court decided to get us evicted. They ruled for our eviction in September 2014. Um, so we appealed the, the decision which came out in September 2014 to the district court in Jerusalem, the Israeli district court. And despite the pending appeal, the Israeli settlers tried to attempt us twice, once in February this year and once in March. Uh, both uh, these attempts, the Israeli, both, in both these attempts, the Israeli police uh, helped the settlers and they were participating in the eviction themselves. Um, however, we managed to stop both attempts. Now, at the moment, uh, last month, the Israeli district court rejected our, uh, our petition. And therefore, we, we were supposed to be evicted on the 30th of November. However, we decided to appeal again, this time to the Israeli high court. And currently, we have a temporary injunction stopping the eviction. However, it's only temporary and the Israeli court, if it decides to reject our request for appeal before it, then the eviction will take place within days or a few weeks. So, so we, we initiated a campaign last March asking for, uh, asking for uh, Israel to stop our eviction. Uh, if, for Israel to stop our eviction, um, we have we've been appealing to the EU, to diplomats, to the UN, calling for stopping this uh, this eviction and from displacing our family from our house. Uh, we are still waiting. We're still waiting for uh, for diplomatic pressure and for diplomats to get involved. Uh, the U.S. consulate have visited our house yesterday. They promised to follow up on the case. And uh, today we visited the European Union. Um, uh, we submitted a petition for them asking to stop the eviction as well and for them to get involved and to stop the, the general policy of displacing Palestinians because it's not just us who are facing this threat. It's dozens of other Palestinian families and thousands who have pending house demolition orders against their houses.